what do these type of navigation systems look like in the future? That depends on which futurist you ask and when. George Lucas, creator of Star Wars, imagined a hyperdrive engine as a large, flat, upright plaque of exposed complex circuitry. Stanley Kubrick had also imagined his aliens as being large, flat, upright planks, though in his case entirely flat ebony. Lucas created the aged future motif in science fiction, giving all his futuristic designs wear and tear from prior use to make them look more authentically realistic. Prior to Lucas, science fiction ships and props were usually all very sleek and shiny, looking like they'd just been manufactured, because, of course, they had. The study of retrofuturism, or past ideas about the aesthetics of possible future times, indicates that, for example, even the shape of UFOs and the appearance of aliens has changed and evolved over time. In the 1800s, airships were seen resembling cigar-shaped blimps. In the 1940s, Foo Fighters were witnessed in the aerial theater of war. In the 1950s, the flying saucer flap took hold. In the first decade of the 21st century, most appearances of UFOs were as large, apparently shape-shifting geometrical forms. Nowadays, they are reported as tiny tic-tacs that routinely disobey the local laws of physics on military radar. Following World War II, science fiction became increasingly dystopian in its prophetic visions for humanity's future. And futurist authors who weren't ground down by the evil machinations of a globalist empire during this time were few and far between. In his novel, Dune, Frank Herbert imagined the space-bending navigation guild pilots as highly evolved but freakishly alienated creatures who opened wormholes telekinetically. Personally, I think a time machine's CPU will likely be found to resemble a standard geode, a crystalline structure inside a mineral-encrusted orb. The prismatic, hexagonal structures of the crystal's molecular composition may serve as an ideal place for storing a holographic star chart. Most cell phones are still using a liquid crystal display screen technology, even for their touchscreen interface models, so it is possible to utilize this trait of crystals for the purpose of magnification of an illuminated image. Exactly how one would imprint or extract celestial coordinates from inside of a geode without being able to crack it open to penetrate its surface, however, remains a mystery above my pay grade. Likewise, my own UFO slash time machine schematics remain sufficiently futuristic as to be well above my pay grade to construct one myself, even drone scale. 